yeah. animations that, that are, are, are a bit heavy. So um, um, this is very much a collaboration that I'm presenting. Um, I'm currently, or actually I've been here for quite a long time at Royal Holloway, University of London, uh, but recently back from almost a five year secondment as the director of the Finnish Institute at Athens. And um, um, we have collaborated for a long time with the University of Leiden, with Anne Brisbane, and uh, uh, her project, actually even the, the initial uh, of setting up the project Set in Stone, which just currently has uh, ERC funding until 2020, 20, yes. And uh, um, as part of the, the uh, goals of the Finnish Institute, um, we realized at the Institute that, that there were not enough people coming from the Finnish universities who had enough of experience in 3D documentation to be uh, useful for the archaeological projects. And uh, as part of that, and also the goals of the, the, uh, the ERC project was to uh, train uh, postdocs and, and PhD students in, in 3D documentation in a way that they could actually carry out in their own projects within two weeks. So that was the, the, the fi finance we had from a private uh, donation in Finland that we had to do it in two weeks and that also the, 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 the ERC uh, uh, basically available funds for that, for that part of the, the, the projects. So I'm going to quickly just go through that what we teach within those two weeks. So um, uh, basically try to get enough of repetitions on the total station so that the, the, the students, when they go back by themselves, that they can actually operate the, the, the instruments. And, and also then integrating that data with, with photogrammetry. So I'm first just going to go through the, uh, this is already sort of 12 year old uh, um, method that that's how you can kick uh, as much as you can out of the total station. So basically using that as a drawing tool. and. Uh, uh, here you see that what's uh, one of the initial uh, um, goals that started setting that that that's a human brain does have a tendency to see regularities even if, if you're very very skillful in drawing uh, to the three D objects uh, as you see the top is a a brilliant uh, architectural illustrator and, and and her view of what the block, block looks like and the below one is the then the published drawing that's actually directly derived from the 3d documentation that that's a the uh, there's a slight discrepancy between the two so uh, first one is that that you have a limited uh, uh, number of measurements you can make uh, by hand and uh, when you can actually increase that by doing uh, uh, the line drawings with, with the toll stations so the, the basic is that that you need to be able to uh, move around your toll station and then uh, create use laser not uh, actually not a single time that you would be using the the, the, the prism so you will always then have a, a good uh, reflection from the the, uh, the surface that you're dealing with and it's actually a very fast way of doing uh, drawing the line drawings and uh, and as long as we are in the current situation that line drawings are important so I, I think that this is one good approach of doing it I haven't actually come across yet that that's um, um, uh, if anybody actually has very good uh, algorithms for creating the 2D uh, drawings from the 3D data, I'd be very happy because I, we have we actually have 3D drawings and we have photogrammetry and uh, and even 3D scans. Uh, so if somebody wants to test uh, in a situation that you have a brilliant uh, 3D uh, uh, line drawings, uh, we would I'd be very happy to hear. We'd be very happy to hear that 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 uh, uh, of the experiences. Okay, so what it means that you, you need to have a network of fixed points that you can actually move the, the uh, those stations wherever you need them to be. Uh, this is one of the examples from 2007 that, that what you can do with it. This is actually basically a raw dump of the, the total station data, what it looks like. So drawing in, in a, a, it did take a couple of days to, to in the end do all of the documentation of, the, of these uh, particular blocks and then that's the final uh, draw, published drawing and that's basically 90% uh, directly uh, done from the the, uh, the total station documentation and, and then just slightly enhanced for the the, the uh, tool marks uh, in, uh, in in the 2d uh, program and uh, as part of the the uh, when I started the Finnish Institute with the private donation uh, there is now a, a Windows console program that actually links directly the the total station data to uh, any CAD program, uh, uh, and 
I haven't actually made it publicly available because there's still a couple of bugs in the program. So, but it's, it's still perfectly usable. But uh, 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 explaining away those bugs that how you get around them is is would be a bit uh, uh, difficult one. So I haven't done it yet. I have actually uh, I did the first algorithms. I had a very slow script program for that, and uh, and I, my brother did the, the, the fast. Uh, uh, Windows console program and I haven't gotten around to to finishing it yet. So so it's it's on this way um, And then I'll take uh, you through the the uh, two case studies that we've done uh, in the field. Uh, so first one uh, 15 for 14 and 15 turns and then uh, 16 17 uh, a new project that that's uh, starting on the island of, of Salamis and uh, 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 as part of the setting the Sun project is actually uh, uh, we've collaborated with quite a few different institutions and this is the the slide that that's a, actually we have a name there is the, the University of Bordeaux Montaigne and uh, uh, they had very good specialty in in object scanning uh, uh, using uh, structured light uh, but um, um, what we did then was the the uh, basically the line drawing of the um, of the of the remains so, uh, there is a research goal behind this, so not only just training the students. Uh, uh, Anne's project needed uh, 3D data for the econometrics of the the, uh, uh, the citadels and and also the tombs. So that was a research goal of, of the all the documentation. And this, I think, is in the midway of the uh, second season that that uh, uh, that we basically documented stone by stone uh, the the uh, visible remains on the eastern half of the. Of the uh, of the citadel, and uh, uh, sixteen uh, setting up the the, uh, the field school um, uh, at Salamis. Uh, what we actually have been doing that that's uh, some of the instruments that we're using are, are are new, so there's been a bit of a budget. Some of them are second hand, some of them are borrowed, uh, and and basically the game aim was that that at least there would be half a dozen of total stations. For the drawing, so that that's the drawing would proceed quickly, and and also that that um, uh, the laser would be uh, strong enough to be seen in the midday sun uh, in in the Greek uh, environments. And uh, as a typical student task, so uh, we're dealing with the the um, a bit old-fashioned way of excavating, so four by four meters uh, trenches with a, a one meter bulk in between, and uh, the excavations were never completed, so it's done by the the, the efforts in 2004-2006 and we collaborated with the efforts uh, to get the final drawings uh, out of the site and uh, uh, then each of the students would have uh, a task of this is actually a very simple one of the, the one of the most simple one of the trenches that that's do both the line drawing and then the the uh, photogrammetry of the, the trenches uh, and this is what it looks like Oops, let's take it back So the, just the photogrammetry of the trench, and uh, uh, this is the the, the, the students document, documenting it uh, 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 from sort of about thirty um, uh, drawings. Actually, Daniel Turnell, who was uh, this one, so he's currently finishing a PhD uh, a, a student at Leiden, and and also then doing the the uh, the drawing of the, the uh, you see that it's uh, actually not, not a completed drawing yet this one so that, that but anyway uh, getting the, the major uh, the uh, lines out of it and if we go what we managed to do over the two seasons 16 17 so actually four weeks of, of work together there are about um, um, five different parts that we have documented stone by stone the old excavations that that's are, are are still visible so they're in yellow and red and i'll just show the 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 uh, this part here what it actually looks like in the in the final documentation so so that's the the uh, the combining the um, photogrammetry with the line drawings of the site so that's what we basically have done uh, um, uh, encoding all of it so that's uh, okay um so that's what we you, you can actually document fairly quickly in this method. So you have we have both the, the photogrammetry and, and then we have the line drawings that we can do all the sections, uh, the the two D uh, plans uh, that are necessary. Okay.